Hi, my name is Alex Baywell, librarian for St. Petersburg College, and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how to find sources to support your current event needs in your discussion post assignment. Now, believe it or not, Wikipedia is a good place to come to to start your research. It can give you a jump start on your research, and I'll show you what I'm talking about here in a minute. However, Wikipedia is not a good source to cite or to include in your bibliography or references section because Wikipedia has certain users that can update articles, they can change the information in them or add references, so it's a dynamic source of information, meaning it could change in the future. So we wouldn't want to rely on a Wikipedia article to base our argument off of because it could change in the future. However, Wikipedia does provide a good advantage in jumpstarting your research because there are certain sources already cited in these Wikipedia articles and I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So I'm going to pull up the Ford Motor Company article in Wikipedia and here we can see that this article is divided into certain sections. It talks about the history, the corporate affairs, operations, products and services, motorsport, environmental initiatives, and so on. But what, what we're really interested in is the notes or references section. So if you scroll all the way down in the Wikipedia article you'll find a notes or references section that looks like this. So this is a list of all the sources cited in this Wikipedia article. So all the claims made in this Wikipedia article are backed up by these sources. So here we have a list of about 122 different sources that we may consider using in our own research. So this is a good list to go through um, to evaluate, to consider if you might want to use that in your own research. And you'll want to evaluate those sources by the credibility of the author, the validity of the research, and the relevance of the articles and websites to your topic. And I believe you have more information about how to evaluate sources in your course materials folder. So if you uh, need further clarification on how to evaluate um, sources, go ahead and consult your folder in your course materials on how to evaluate sources. So this list would jumpstart your research. You would have a bunch of uh, sources to sift through and see if you may want to include those in your own research. And now I'm going to show you how to look up some sources using the library databases. So the easiest way to get to the library databases is from the ANGEL homepage. And if you follow the library resources and services link on the right under institutional resources, it'll direct you to the St. Petersburg College Library search page. From here you can search the entire library for print and electronic sources. Um, you can also pop in your research question here in this Ask a Librarian widget if you're feeling real lazy. It's a pretty cool service so it's staffed with librarians in the state of Florida that are there to help you to answer your research question or help you with your research at your point of need. I kind of wish I had that when I was going to college so take advantage of it. But to get to the databases we can either click databases A to Z or databases by subject. I'm going to go ahead and follow the databases by subject link and expand the business category here. So here we can see we have about 20 different databases that all pertain to business and each database has its own specialization. So we'll start out searching for current events and news sources in the ABI Inform Complete ProQuest database. So to get to the database you'll just need to follow the link and a new tab will open and here you can see my last search already and that's what we'll be searching for this time too. However, I'm going to use the advanced search feature um, here in ABI. So go ahead and click on advanced search and now I'm going to type in um, Ford Motor and I'm going to put Ford Motor in uh, quotation marks because I'm looking for the exact phrase Ford Motor. I'm not just looking for Ford or just looking for motor. I'm looking for Ford Motor, Ford Motor Company. So that's why I'm putting that in quotation marks because I'm doing a phrase search on Ford Motor and I'm going to use another keyword here, sustainability. Alright, so I have my two keywords I put in. I'm looking for full text articles and now understand you have certain limitations for your current event needs. So we could um, narrow down the publication date to the last three months and so anything that's been published in the last three months will show up in the results and anything older will be omitted. And here you can go down and uh, select your source type. So we would want to select magazines, newspapers, other sources, um, scholarly journals, trade journals, wire feeds. And we can also select document types. So we're looking for articles. Let's see what else we have that we can select. 
case study, a business case. Basically, we're looking for current event articles. And so I'm going to select all the document types that could apply to that category. So we could do a market report and market research, news. and website. Language by default is English. I'm not going to touch that. And it looks like I'm ready to go ahead and start my search. So I'm going to click on search and this should yield some relevant results. So we have 26 different results that have been published in the last three months about Ford Motor Company and sustainability. So the first result here looks like a good source we could use. Um, if we're talking about sustainability, the third one looks really good too. US Ford to install EV charging station at its facilities. So I'm going to follow the link to that article and that will take me to the full text of that article. So I can review the article here and I have certain tools that um, I can use. I can export this citation information to RefWorks to create a bibliography or I could just copy it directly from here and paste it into my section. And I can email and print this article to other people or myself. So this is how you would look up a current event article in the ABI Inform database. Moving on, I'm going to show you another database. I'm going to show you the Tampa Bay Business Journal. Now if you scroll down, it's on the bottom here, just follow the Tampa Bay Business Journal link. Now the Tampa Bay Business Journal belongs to the business journals, which is a big group of 40 or so publications of major local business journals which offer a wide range of coverage of local trade and business news and sales lead information. So the best way I find to search the Tampa Bay Business Journal is searching the National Archives. So I'm going to enter the same keywords I had here, sustainability, oops, Ford Motor Company in quotation marks, and sustainability. And I'm going to hit search. And it's not only going to search through Tampa Bay Business Journal, but it's going to also search through those 40 or so other business journals. So here the first article looks like it would be relevant to our topic, Georgia Tech working on solar charging technology for Ford Motor Company. So if you follow the link, it'll take you to that article. And it'll display the article here in full text. So here you can review the article and read it. However, the Tampa Bay Business Journal does not provide any citation tools or export tools, so you'll need to manually create a citation for this source if you choose to use it in your research. Moving on, I'm going to show you the uh, Wall Street Journal. It's right under the Tampa Bay Business Journal, so if you click on the Wall Street Journal, it'll take you to the Wall Street Journal. It has the same kind of interface, looks familiar, so I'm going to click on Advanced Search again. And here we have Ford Motor and Sustainability. We're limiting it to full text. And we'll want to select magazines and newspapers. And we're going to go ahead and select the document types that we're looking for. So we're looking for articles. Um, blogs are kind of iffy. If you have a blog, you'll really want to um, make sure that the um, author is credible and that the research is valid in the blog. Like Guy Kawasaki would be an example of an authoritative blog to cite, um, but you want to be really critical with blogs. So I'm not even going to search for blogs here. And um, scrolling down, we can s uh, select other document types, general information, market research, news. You could select an interview too. Uh, report. And that looks good. So it looks like we're ready to go ahead and click search. And we should get some good results. We have 63 results. And I can see the first result here is published on January 3rd, and I believe that would be older than 60 days, which is your limitation for your current event article. So, and we already have it sorted as the most recent first. You may want to check that. 
So it looks like these articles may be a bit dated to use in your research from Wall Street Journal. Now, while we're logged into the library databases, I'm going to show you a little trick here. And it's with Google Scholar. So keep your window open for your library databases and where you're logged into the library and just open a new tab or a window and navigate to Google Scholar, scholar.google.com. Now, Google is very smart. Google knows that we're currently logged into the SPC library databases and it's going to show us uh, where we can get access um, via our library databases in the Google search results. I'll show you what I mean by that. So I'm going to type in forward motor and sustainability and I'm going to hit search. Now I got about 14,000 results. Now you don't have to worry in Google Scholar will only uh, present you with peer-reviewed sources. So Google Scholar only gives you credible sources. It's a good place to look if you're looking for peer-reviewed sources and notice in some of the results to the right of them it says find it at SPC. Now usually this access would be restricted or you'd have to pay to access the journal here um, but we have access to it via the SPC libraries and Google like I mentioned knows that we're currently logged in and it's offering this find it at SPC link. So if you follow that link it'll take you to the databases that offer um, this full text. So it looks like this is Science Direct, and we can get the full text article right here. Google also has a cool feature. You can um, cite the articles. You can either copy the citation here or you can import it to RefWorks as well. And what I really like about it is that it searches through multiple databases. So you're not just searching through one database like we just did. It's going to look at all the databases and provide us results in addition to those databases, other results from other sources, like this one from Colorado State. Now, I noticed that some of the sources here are uh, kind of dated, so we'll want to look for more recent sources, and it's really easy to do that in Google. We can just click on since 2014, and that will omit all the articles that have been published prior to that date. So here's an article from the Journal of Business Ethics that talks about the leadership of corporate sustainability. Um, also the Ford Motor Company, so that might be a good source to include in your research. And you can just go ahead and follow the Find It at SPC link, and it'll take you to the databases. Oh, this one wasn't found, so let's go try another one. Uh, let's try this one here. Here we go, so here we have the full text. via Google Scholar and our databases. So hopefully this has been helpful to you. And if you have any questions or you need any further research help, feel free to email me at baywell.alex at spcollege.edu. That's B-A-W-E-L-L dot A-L-E-X at spcollege.edu. Thanks and have a good day.